Hi everyone, I'm Angie Kellen for SID. Today we're in San Francisco, California for Display Week 2016. I'm on the show floor and joining me is Steve Vrablick from Japan Display. Now the reason he's joining me is because they won Display of the Year Award and we're going to talk about that for the 17-inch display. How are you, Steve? Fine, Angie. How are you? Good. Well, let's first talk about what this award means to you. Oh, well, thank you very much. We are so honored to have this award this mm -hmm. year. We introduced this product last year in October. The display industry recognized us for its success and its achievement. It's actually a very prestigious award bestowed upon us by the committee of the SID, and we're so honored to have it. Well, when you consider that the show is called Display Week, and there are many, many, many other displays, the competition was very, very yes, high. So was. congratulations Thank on you very winning much, that. Andy. We were especially proud of it. Thank you. So now let's talk about this 17-inch display you have here. Now I'm sure all of you out there are not going to be able to really grasp the quality of this screen, but uh, bear with us. It is pretty phenomenal. Yes. And Angie, if I may, sure. this is a 17-inch display. It's a typical type of monitor size that you might have in broadcasting or on your desktop or something like that. But indeed, it contains 8,000 by 4,000 pixels of resolution, horizontally and vertically, essentially 32 megapixels, all crammed into a small space that's only 17-inch diagonal. You might normally see this kind of resolution format maybe a TV size or 4K by 2K, which is you know eight times less pixels in a much bigger screen. Wow. So we've put a lot of pixels into this very small display of high resolution. But the other features of it, 510 pixels per inch, 120 hertz operation, very smooth reproduction of the images and movies and things like that, as well as wide viewing angles. You kind of get a sense of immersiveness when you view it, don't you think? You, uh, you feel like you're standing right in there. It's really amazing. Yes, thank you. And as I go to mention here, now I sp spoke about the fact that it could be used in broadcast, could be used in all applications as well, but we actually foresee it being used first, maybe really in the broadcasting industry for upcoming 8K events. Fantastic. So that kind of answers a little bit of my next question is, you know, where, what is this going to do to the marketplace with this product being available? Oh, well, really, we expect it to really kind of revolutionize the whole broadcasting industry and TVs. For example, just this summer, we have the World Cup and the Summer Olympics coming up in Rio de Janeiro. They're going to be partially broadcast in AK, and we really foresee that the 2020 Olympic events in Japan will be broadcast in 8K. Oh, so terrific. be ready for it then. We're going to come see you so that we can watch them in ultra immersive clarity, if you will. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Angie. <laughs> Steve, thank you for your time and, and congratulations again. We appreciate again. it very much, Angie. One thank quick you. question. How has the show been for you outside of winning this outstanding award? Oh, the show's been great. It's been building every year and it's been a great year this year, too. Okay, terrific. Well, we hope to see you next year. Uh, thanks, Angie. Thank <laughs> you. In San Francisco, Angie Kellen for SID.